I've been doing a lot of work with spreadsheets lately. Downloading a CSV, passing it and running it through a program, then exporting it as an Excel spreadsheet and querying it further. Whenever I do anything like this, I get really frustrated with spreadsheets. I like the interface, but I wish they were faster. And sometimes I wish I could use them like a normal SQL database. In my head, I have this idea for a tool that is backed by a normal SQL database. So it can still be used programmatically, but it also has an interface like an Excel spreadsheet. So I can make all those small detailed changes when I need to. Kind of like something that you would use once you're too big for Excel, but you don't have time to spin up a whole dedicated service. Something that the Williams F1 team could have used instead of struggling for 20 years. I tried to create an initial proof of concept. The idea is that you sign into the database, but instead of writing queries, the experience is a lot more like using a spreadsheet. This is to make it easier for non-technical people to access the database, but also useful if you need to make simple changes quickly. You can create a new table, rename it, add or rename columns, and add or edit rows pretty much like you would do with a normal spreadsheet. The advantage is that this is actually editing a Postgres database under the hood. So I can still write normal SQL queries or access it programmatically when I need to. I didn't get around to this, but ideally it would be nice to import a CSV and have it auto-generate the SQL tables for you. And then you can go from there. This is about as far as I got given the time I had, and I've parked it for now. I'm not sure how I feel about this project. It's promising, but I'm sure there already exists a better way to do this. I must be reinventing the wheel somehow. I can think of a few use cases for a tool like this. The first one is using it as a plug and play back office. While building back office tools for various apps, I've often found myself writing the same code to fetch data from a table, display it using pagination, allow one row to be selected, allow a value to be changed. Something like this would let you get all that for free. It's a lot more powerful than a usual back office, but you can easily restrict mutative access using database roles. I think this is a pretty strong use case since internal tools are often very neglected. A tool like this with some better permissions management, maybe letting you sign in with SSO, could greatly reduce the maintenance required for internal tools. The second use case for a tool like this could be to use it as a replacement for entire systems that are built within Excel. Imagine if you could import an Excel spreadsheet and interface with it like you're used to while editing a real SQL database under the hood. You can access the SQL database programmatically while keeping the convenience that got you stuck in Excel in the first place. For this to work, the system would have to support formulas and formatting and other Excel features, but this could be done using metadata tables that are maintained with the system itself. It would be interesting. I've heard of many SaaS products that started out as a spreadsheet, but what if instead of having to build the entire SaaS, you could just convert your spreadsheet into something that has the scalability and stability of a proper database, while also giving you a nice UI with things like form validation and pagination. The last use case is the use case I started with. When you're working with spreadsheets, but you want to have a nicer time dealing with lots of data or executing queries or processing it programmatically. I think with a few more features, this could provide a really nice experience for this use case. I'm surprised I don't see more people run into this problem. I must have 50 CSV, JSON and XLS files in my documents folder from when I was trying to calculate some statistics. The approach I initially took did not give me much confidence in my results since everything was so slow and cumbersome. This data set had hundreds of thousands of rows. What I actually ended up doing was using SQLite to query CSV data. Here's how I ended up writing SQL queries for my spreadsheets. You start with a spreadsheet and then you export it to a CSV. Then you can create a new SQLite database and change the mode to CSV. You can import the CSV file directly into a table. And now you can query the data as if it was a normal SQL table. In this example, I imported all the race results for the 2023 F1 season as a CSV. And I can query all the races where Alex finished higher than 10th and none of the top three teams DNF'd. I much prefer using SQL instead of spreadsheets for queries like this. If you want to export your results, you can change the output of SQLite to save to a CSV file. Just be sure to change it back to standard out when you're finished so you don't overwrite your file. Changes made in the table won't update your original file. 
and any change you make in the original file will need to be re-exported as a CSV and re-imported into SQLite. But it's a pretty neat solution for what I was trying to do. I'd be interested to know how other people solve this problem. What do you do when you need to process some data locally? For example, if you need to pass a CSV, make a HTTP request to an API, and then process the received JSON. JQ is a really neat solution for that last part, by the way. Or what do you do when you just have weird questions to answer? and your data is in an annoying format. Do you see a use for a more convenient UI on top of an SQL database? Or does something like that already exist?